can see it's been a busy one down at the show, not just down at the show, the whole city has been buzzing with a number of sort of spin-off events as well. Who best to give us a perfect roundup of all things Jitex Week than today's guest co-host. Uh, he is an award-winning revered business journalist here. He is our go-to on all things tech uh, and of course the tech business here in the region. It is the A to the B to the S to the C. <laughs> no. The A to the B to the S to the T. It's uh, A, B, Sam Thomas. I'll never forget that now. Because <laughs> uh, I got it wrong. But there we are. We got there in the end. Uh, we got there. Beauty we got of live TV, people, you see? Uh, listen, great to have you here. One thing that really struck me about that, and in all the years that you and I have been covering Jitex, et cetera, and we always say Jitex, and we immediately think of, we know, we know what we're talking about there. I've just seen there, it is, of course, Jitex Global. And there we are. It is not just a show that you and I have grown up with. It is not just a show that Dubai has grown up with. It is something that has become global and very much on the global calendar, correct? Yeah, it is the world's largest tech and startup event. And just by virtue of that title, it tells you how important it is from a global landscape. And again, looking at Jitex, yes, we knew it as the Dubai event. Now it's gone to Africa, Morocco. You know, it's really expanding its presence and it just shows that we are at the right point in terms of like making a presence felt on the tech landscape. But, but the, the most important, is this the biggest one, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, I We're think We're in Dubai after all. <laughs> is it the biggest? It is the biggest. It has to be the biggest. We are in Dubai, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe, so with your new role now, obviously you're going in a new direction, how is that, how is Jitex then fitting into your new life? Again, um, at Inkery, we call ourselves like a dynamic media brand that is looking at, you know, today's innovative business builders. That's our focus. And when you look at that, yes, that's what we see at Jitex. These are like hordes and hordes of people who are doing amazing things with their companies, with their businesses, and also looking at challenges in a way that most of us are not looking at. So um, seeing them talk about their solutions, seeing them about their personal drivers that are pushing them to do these things, it's always fun, it's always interesting, and it's really one of the reasons why I go to Jitex. Yeah, AB, I, I think that one thing we cannot go without saying here is the culture of entrepreneurship right here in Dubai, yeah. the startup culture as well. Talk to me about that because I want everyone at home to actually know just by living here, you can feel that energy and that power. Um, where are we on the global scale of things? I there? mean, if you want to look at the global scale of things, the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor uh, survey has already said that the UAE is the best place to do a business. And again, it's not just this year, it's been like going on for three years now. So that tells you already about the climate, the culture that is already present in the country. And again, in terms of how the government or rather the country is pushing innovation, just look at the number of people who are coming here and thinking, this is the place I want to start a business in because people are, receptive to it, the regulators are receptive to it, no matter what technology you do or no matter how, what kind of business you're doing, yes, people want to see it build, people are curious about it, people are more often than not, you know, your first pushers, your first movers, and it's always nice to see that. Here I've got Dubai. a little bit of a problem with this one though, because, and I need you to help me out with that one, because I've got loads of problems, so you've, <laughs> many you can't help me with, that's for well, sure, yeah. but this one you might be able to. Yeah. So, you're, you're right. This, we, we, we like to see ourselves by as one of the entrepreneurial startup hubs of the world. Mm -hmm. And yet, we're also one of the most expensive cities in the world. Cost of living is expensive. Getting up and going is, is, is expensive as well. So for somebody that's going to give 25, 8 to their startup, to their business, who's going to be scrimp and save, who's going to go out and try and fund as well, what is it? What's the special ingredient that attracts people to give up their home country and the safety they're in to come here to try and get things off the ground? I think it's just the chances, the opportunities that I've been giving here. You might not get that anywhere else in the world. Yes, it's tough to start a business. It's never been easy to start a business. But that said, this country is telling you, like, come over here. We'll help you as much as we can. Yes, it's going to be costly. Yes, you'll have to jump through loops. But once you, you know, put your head down and, you know, have the focus on the goal, yeah, I think the country really helps you push forward. I think it's the speed, I would, I would say, Tom, the speed that you can do it. I think that's what it is. Like, we're from, uh, like, traditional places that take time and, and mm -hmm. it's, it's done in a certain way. But it's the sp once you do go through those hoops, then it's just like, oh, we're making this, we're making that. We're, it, it just happens quicker. I think that's what it is, I would say. I mean, I just want to, like, again, a shameless plug, but our cow story this that's month... That's what the all about. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, our yeah, our cow story this month is on this gentleman called uh, His Excellency Faisal al -Banai. He's the Secretary General of the Advanced Technology Research Council, and he's also an advisor to the UAE president. So he started this entity, which is all about, you know, making the, or the UAE a hub for advanced technology research. 
in 2020, just when COVID was ramping up. He told me that in the, during the interview that, you know, it was when COVID was really on the zoom up that the council was launched and that's when he was given the mandate to get it going. In four years, what that council has done is, I mean, genuinely amazing. The things they have done in the fields of like artificial intelligence, they have their own open source, uh, large language models that are being talked about all around the world. Uh, in terms of how innovative they are. There are companies being set up, there are hubs being created, all of that in a span of just four years. That's amazing. And I don't think you will see that anywhere else in the world. So for that speed, like you rightly mentioned, Lane, and again, that support you get from the government and people around you who are interested in making this a hub, yeah, we are definitely a better place to be than most others. Yeah, I, I want to say speed, but also I think the connections that you build here, I think it's really easy for people to network. And mm -hmm. you can correct me if I'm wrong, but specifically in the tech industry, yeah. people are always willing to help each other out. I'll connect you to so-and-so, I'll connect you to so-and-so. How special is that? I think one of the biggest misconceptions entrepreneurs have here is like everyone is like in their little bubble, but it's not at all mm -hmm. that. You just need to ask. You'd be surprised at the number of doors that would be open to you if you just ask. You just need to get that inhibition away and be like, hey, can you introduce me to that? And more often than not, you'll be getting a yes, rarely, if ever. No. Yeah. Well, look, AB's going to be with us as we dive even deeper into the startup tech scene right here in Dubai. But coming up, we do chat to the co-founder of a UAE-based construction tech firm. Plus, later on, we are speaking to the founder of a real estate crowdfunding platform. So stay right there. We'll be right back.